Hello, I'm Tom from Tom's Computer Service, and we're looking at Rebecca's Family Restaurant website right now. Purpose of this video is to uh, show Barb or maybe even Rebecca uh, how to uh, make changes to the website uh, by logging in to the front end of the website and uh, and using that functionality of this site. Uh, Rebecca's Family Restaurant is located in downtown Linesville across from the post office uh, they have Wi-Fi and uh, on the internet they're located at goodfoodlinesville.com and the food is good if we want to make changes to the website first we have to log in and we'll find a login under the contact us and it's right here it's this admin login and I sent Barb her username and password and when she enters that and logs in she will be logged in hi Barb log out okay uh, we go to the home page now what's new on the home page that, that lets us know that we're logged in and gives us the functionality is this edit icon. And we'll find an edit icon like this on, on uh, virtually every page with the center content. There's a few that don't, but for the most part all the articles uh, that have this uh, center content will have an, an edit. Uh, so for example, uh, we want to change um, the breakfast menu. We want to go in and just go ahead and update the prices, something like that. So we click on the on the edit icon, and this comes up. This page is now editable. Not that easy to say, by the way. This, this section here looks a lot like a word processor, and it functions a lot like a word processor. Uh, for the most part, it's, it's just a simple matter of clicking where you want to make changes, changing the, uh, the numbers. I don't, I don't want to change Barb's prices here, but you could make any change here you wanted to make. Uh, you could add milk milk if you liked. As easy as that. Uh, and then of course you'd update the date when you updated your prices so the, the customers coming to the website would uh, would know that the prices are up to date and correct. Uh, you'd click the save button to save your changes or I'm just going to click cancel. If you did have a problem uh, and things didn't go the way you, you thought they should, you could simply click cancel and it wouldn't change. You can just start over. So we're, I'm just going to go ahead and click cancel. It goes back to the page. And we'll go back to the home page. I'm going to real quick, I'm going to change browsers and we're going to go to uh, Firefox and we'll, let's look at uh, Barb's home page. It, it would be very possible, now that you see how easy it is to make changes, to put uh, an article right here that would reflect uh, the breakfast, lunch, and menu dinner specials that she has uh, every day. And that could be changed on a daily basis or, uh, or on a weekly basis, whatever was convenient. You'd just see how, how easy it is. Uh, Barb's Restaurant does have a uh, mobile module installed. I'm going to show you. This is Google Analytics. Uh, these are the mobile devices. Uh, we're here. We're talking December, Christmas. Not a lot of mobile traffic, but 13 visits in the middle of uh, the holidays and winter here. In the summertime, uh, this traffic would, would increase significantly. So uh, people come in with the mobile phones, and they can... Uh, they can look at, at what's uh, what's on the menu and it would really be great if they knew what was on the menu for that particular day and that's how how easy it is to make changes to a Joomla website going right into the front end uh, of the site 
making the changes, saving them, and uh, thanks for watching.